Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Miss Naturally Mary here. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe before you leave. I have an exciting video for you all today. Today we are doing my fully furnished closet tour. I have been waiting to show you all this closet. I showed you guys what it looked like initially without anything in it. I've gotten the chandelier. I've gotten it all organized. I actually had somebody come out recently to help me finish the organizational process. I'll show you guys where it was in the beginning after I finished everything and then what she did after, but the closet just looked amazing. And I'm so excited to show it to you all. I also wanna show you guys some new in pieces. So I might include a bit of a try on haul in this video as well. I know you all love those. So let's get into the closet tour y'all. Let's do this. All right, y'all, welcome to my finished closet. I don't wanna go back. Hey, y'all, so this is my new closet. It looks so great. And y'all, get into the chandelier. Hold tight, don't let go. Are you dying? Like, this chandelier is everything. It's a teardrop design, it's from CB2, and I love how it looks in here. I did have to change the light bulbs, they were originally like a soft yellow, now it's like an LED, more of a bright white, so I really like that. It is large, so it overwhelms the space if it's too tiny, so keep that in mind if you're interested in this particular chandelier. I believe it was around $3.98 if the price hasn't gone up, but Price really well and it's stunning. It's so perfect for this closet. So I am so happy with this chandelier. I'm glad I chose this one. I was actually gonna get this one for this closet as well as our master bathroom, but it's just too big. So it'll just be the highlight of this room. I love it. The next update, y'all, the last time that you all saw this space, I believe the island wasn't assembled yet. I think it was downstairs in the garage, but it had not been put together. But this is the island. I got it from One Stop Bedroom. It's gorgeous. I believe it's by One Century. I'll try to link it down below. It has a great deal of storage. Perfect for storing underwear, bras. I just have my sunglass cases in here currently, as well as scarves in here. But I really like the way it looks. I do plan on changing out these little knobs on here. While I do like the vintage gold, I do want some that have the crystal design. I saw some on Amazon that would be perfect, so I think I'm gonna have these changed out. But the storage is great, and the white with the marble top just brings everything together. And I feel like placing this island in the center of the space really helps to just tie everything in, gives me additional storage because y'all know I have so much stuff and I need all the storage I can get. In the back of the island, in the back of the island, I have these little storage bins for my sandals. I also use this to store extra heels, wedges, things like that. And my gorgeous sandals from Zara that I got last year. I have these in gold as well as black. Cannot wait to wear these. So this little area is just for an overflow of sandals, chunky heels, wedges, things like that. Now for this area of the space, I decided to use neutral colors. I wanted the aesthetic to more so match the color scheme of our home. Y'all know the majority of our house is just a minimalistic, neutral tone color scheme. And so I wanna stick with that. Because I had some burgundy boots and this area down here is meant to store my tall boots, I decided to infuse bags that were also burgundy and that were within that color family. So I have this boy bag that's more so of an apricot uh, color and then this Kurt Geiger bag that's more so of a plum color. And then for the rest of this area here, which is such a beautiful display of all of my bags and shoes, loafers, flats, and things like that. I just tried to tie in all those colors and it turned out phenomenally. To display my bags, I believe I showed you all some of these in my last video. 
I'm using these acrylic bag stands, some that look like this. So for my larger bags, I decided to display them on these acrylic stands. And then for my smaller bags, I decided to display them on these chrome stands that I also got from Amazon. And these actually come in various sizes and heights. So while this one is this height, the one behind it comes up a little higher so that you can actually see the bag behind it. This gorgeous bag from Colt Gaia is displayed behind this silver bag, which is from Jimmy Choo. And then over here, I decided to add a mix of clutches, some little statement bags, and then also my little denim Fendi bag. And instead of just using this storage unit for bags, I decided to also add some of my heels. So I included these along with some gray heels that I had, some white ones, and these I just got in and I just love these. These are by Tamar Mellon. They are gorgeous. So I decided to display the shoes that I really love and wanted to grab quickly in this area. And then off to the side, which is kind of tucked away, I have some more heels displayed on this side and then a little bouquet of flowers, which is also another design and exit I have over in that corner. But I love how this display turned out. It is amazing. And then I decided to put all of my clutches here. This one's new in from Mango. I love it. It's going to be perfect for the summer. And another little Amazon find that I want to point out to you guys. I didn't show you all these in my last video, but if I can get it out. This is another display stand that I found on Amazon. These are to hang your bags, your smaller bags, more of the mini size. I decided to get these in chrome versus gold because I felt like it matched more the aesthetic of the room. But they also offer these in black, they offer them in gold, and also this silver color. I felt like silver worked much better. I feel like the contrast of gold and silver is something that's trending now, and I really like to mix metals, so that's why I decided to go with silver versus the gold, because I feel like it would just look too matchy-matchy with some of the gold bags and then having silver. Silver was just perfect. I do have more clutches that I need to add to this space. And then there are two empty storage spaces up here that I'm not sure what I'm gonna put up there yet, but I'm glad I didn't fill this space completely because now I feel like I still have room to grow into the closet, which is awesome. But I'm loving how this entire area turned out. I didn't wanna do anything that most people do, just have all these different colors over in this area with only bags, mixing it up with shoes, boots, and things like that, as well as bags. I feel like just allows me to put my own personal touch and I love that. Now over here in this space, I decided to display my white tops as well as my black tops. And then here I decided to do blues. So I have blue button downs, blue dresses, like this one I got from H&M. I haven't worn this yet. I need to pull this back out. It's perfect for the summer. I need to, also the spring. So I have some of my dresses here button downs and also denim like this denim dress i believe i got this last year it's so nice and it's more so of the shorter dresses because this is for short hanging items i have denim jackets cardigans things like that i just have an array of different blue items and then down here i have all of my denim jeans well not all of them because i do have some black ones over here because I have a lot of black jeans, but in this space, I have all of my lighter blues and it just kind of transitions from lighter to darker. I am very surprised that I didn't actually fill this entire space because I thought I had so many more jeans than that. Maybe when I purged, that allowed me to have more space, but now we're able to get a little more, but not too quickly because I have so much stuff, but I like that I still have room to grow in this area. And I love how this display for the jeans looks aesthetically. Down here, I could actually add some more shoes. There's storage space at the bottom. And then here, I have not filled this, but I can put necklaces, I can put some watches, jewelry pieces, just a number of different things for this area. In this area, I have a ton of drawer space, but I haven't filled it yet, which is surprising, but I do have these inserts that I included, which I feel like are great for the clear 
front drawers that come with Ikea's pack system. I only purchased these to put at the top of my drawers and I wouldn't recommend doing them the entire way down because you'd have to purchase a lot of these or just have your clothing in here displayed and always neat. And I'm sure you're like me and you don't always have all of your things organized. So it's better to just get maybe one of these at the top and the rest of them to have the clothes storage. Otherwise, it's just gonna look super messy. So I purchased these on Amazon and they do come with this little cardboard insert at the bottom. You can use these to put your t-shirts, you can put undergarments, a number of different things, but I haven't put anything in there yet. And then up here I have these storage bins that are also from Amazon. I plan to put some headbands in this one. This one I can put swimwear. Another idea for this one would be to put like my hair tools or something like that. And then in this little area, this is where I have all of my blazers. And then down here I have trousers, black jeans, and just an overflow of just cargo pants and other items. Now this is one of my favorite features of the closet. I truly wanted a closet that had the mirrored door storage space from Ikea. And this space stores a lot of stuff. And I feel like having the tucked away storage space was really good for all of these colors because you all know this space was for all of the neutral tone things. So in here, I decided to go with all of the colorful long dresses that I have. I also have a two piece set in here. And this might not be the only one, but this is new into my closet. This is from Never Fully Dressed. It's so perfect for the summertime. I'm definitely planning to wear this on the beach. And this is a chiffon material, so it's really lightweight. I'm probably gonna try this on for you guys in a minute. I loved it so much, I even got it in black. So yeah, I'll link this down below for you all. I actually have a lot of pieces from Never Fully Dressed. I get lots of wrap dresses from there and just all sorts of colorful items. That's a great boutique site on Instagram to go if you're looking for colorful pieces. And then y'all, I wanted to show you guys this new dress from And Other Stories. Y'all, it's so me. I love the puffy sleeves. And then this waist, it comes in so nicely. I have to try this on for you guys. It's so flowy and just so beautiful. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but this is definitely one of my favorite pieces in the closet. I love how this turned out. I actually used the color wheel in order to decide the order of the colors. And then up here, I displayed some of my bags and just make sure that they corresponded with the colors of the dresses, just to keep it a little cohesive. So up here, I have smaller bags displayed. And then down at the bottom, I have my larger bags and I have to put more, but there's a little bin down here at the bottom. Let me take this out of here. But there's a little bin down here at the bottom, which is such a convenient feature to this area that I'm gonna put more of my larger bags in this area. I just have to finish unpacking them, but yeah, that's what this area looks like. And I really wanted a mirror here so that it made it really easy when I was getting ready. And then just the accessibility to my shirts, bags, jeans, everything. I can create an outfit so fast and then have the mirror to make sure I look nice. So I have a mirror here. And then I also have a mirror on this side, which was from our old apartment. And just having two here, even if my sister wanted to come, she was getting ready, she could do it over here. And then I can be over there and we can just get ready real fast. This place is so functional, I love that. In this little area, so let me tell you guys, the closet I designed and organized the majority of it. And then I had another organizer come in to help me. So for the most part, the design of the closet is what I created, but I also had somebody to help to finish organizing and unpacking my things. The organizer did actually work on displaying these bags here. So these are all of my Jack Moose bags. And I thought it was a really good idea to display them in this manner. I already have these little chrome stands and she just took the all the bags that were the same brand and just put them here. And I love that she did that because I didn't even think to do that, but that was a really nice touch that she added. And then in this area, I asked her to add all of my belts. So I have all of my belts displayed here. And then in this drawer, we just have undergarments, socks and things like that. Down here, we added all of my tanks and I have a ton of tanks. So we added all those here. Workout clothes are down here, folded nicely. She actually did all of that for me because once I did so much in the closet, 
I got to a point where I was just like, you know what? I need help. I need somebody else to do it, finish the job. And that's what she did. So she organized this nicely down here. And again, I use these little drawer inserts that are perfect for organizing your items and making them look more cohesive. They're folded so nicely that I literally don't even want to touch this area because I'm going to have to now do what she did. So yeah, my style is really soft, girly, feminine, but at times I also like to wear sneakers. So I wanted to show variety in the closet, not just all of the cutesy, girly stuff, but also sneakers that I can be sporty as well. So. I decided to use this space as a display for all of my sneakers. So that's what we have here. And then in this area, I decided to add my sunglasses. And I actually need to get a longer gray insert so that it's actually displayed, right? But this is how it is currently. So all of my sunglasses are here. And then down here, I have heels displayed and I did get this heel display from Ikea so that you can put your heels onto it. Let me see. Let me show you. So when I purchased this area, I also bought these inserts from Ikea that allows you to be able to put your heels over this little hump here and it just gives it more of a boutique vibe and I was all about that. So I can put heels in the front and then two sets of heels can fit in the back. So that's just how it is all the way down. I love the pullout feature, it's so great. And it seems like in this area, I decided to display all of my neutral and metallic heels. And then here we have our jury assortment, which the organizer put all of my jury in here very nicely. And then in the empty spaces, that's where the jury that I'm currently wearing is supposed to be displayed. But I love how organized this area is. It takes me such a long time to find accessories. I had an organizer from Amazon, but it wasn't as functional because I have so much jewelry. I'm a clip-on girl and finding good clip-ons can be challenging, but the moment that I found clip-ons that I love on Etsy, I purchased so many. And so I wanted to make sure I had a great place to store them. So when I purchased my Ikea pack system, I made sure that I got these inserts for jewelry organization. And these are just so great. And then down here, I think I have pajamas in this area. My skins dresses are in here, but I realized later that the organizer did not fold these and it took her eight hours, but she didn't fold these, but these are all my skins dresses. And then in this area, I have my fragrance display, which I love how it turned out. I feel like having the neutral tanks at the top and then adding more of a colorful vibe here it's so cohesive and it just looks beautiful to me. And I love these two fragrances. Carolina Herrera with this design for the fragrance bottles, A1. I love this. It's such a cute design and I feel like for a closet like this, a boutique style closet, these are such a great touch. I love these and they smell amazing. Now they don't last very long. So if you're looking for something that's designer and lasts a long time, I wouldn't necessarily recommend these, but if you want to add a really nice touch to your closet and add a nice aesthetically pleasing piece, then these, these will be good. So that's what I kind of use them for. I also spray them on me, but I more so like them for the design. And then all of the perfumes that I grab regularly, I displayed here. I do have more fragrances and I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. They might go in the island somewhere, maybe. I don't know. But I just have these displayed here. And then I decided to put this colorful headband at the top of this one. This is the display stand that I told you guys I use for bags, but you can also use it to display your headbands. There we go. I don't think I did it right, but. <laughs> and then over here, I have two areas for short hanging items. So I decided to add my colorful dresses at the top. I have the organizer put these in here, but I told her I wanted colorful short hanging dresses here. And then I wanted shorts and also pants in this area. So my trousers are here. So all of the colorful trousers are here along with some shorts. Y'all look at these shorts. How stunning are these? I cannot wait to wear these this summer. These are just so beautiful. They're by Andrea Yama, which is a black designer. I shop her clothes all the time. Black-owned businesses like 
Fina Will, Andrea Yama, Brandon Blackwood. I have so many of their items, but these shorts, she did her thing with these. And then over here, I have all of my colorful statement blouses as well as some of my button downs over in this area. And then we just stay consistent with the colorful vibe here as well as over here. And then at the top, we added some fedoras. The organizer actually came up with that idea, which I thought was a nice touch. I did not know where to put those and I'm so glad she decided to put them there. And then on this side, I decided to add more of my earth tone colors. So we have skirts over here, dresses, tops. It's just an array of different items, but they're all within the same color scheme. And then down here, we have all of my colorful heels. And again, we have these nice pullout trays. And I still have space, which is a miracle. Yeah, and then we have more shoe storage here. I have jumpsuits, all kind of things in this area. And then here, I decided to display my long hangings. So while on the other side that has the French doors as well, I decided to do short hanging at the top and short hanging at the bottom. On this side, I needed more space for my long hanging items. So I decided to display my black items here and white on this side. And I do also have some great items in here as well. So for the most part, it's long hanging dresses, but longer skirts that would not fit over here. We decided to move them over in this area, but this area is for my statement items. Like this dress from Ajay, Age or Ajay, y'all, this is a stunner. I cannot wait to try this on for you guys, show you all what it looks like. And I might have to wear this to a nice little event. It's just loud, beautiful, and I can always wear it. It's a statement piece. And that's what this area is about. Like New Year's dresses. That's why I wear it for New Year's. It'll be perfect for New Year's. All of my shimmery items that are in the color black and white, they're all in this space. Look at this dress, y'all, that I'm gonna wear for my birthday. This is from House of CB. Y'all cannot tell me this is not going to be everything. Like I'm gonna look so good in this dress. I tried it on the other day and y'all wow it took my breath away it's so gorgeous i have a lot of off the shoulder in here as well this is another dress from ajay y'all can see my style is so girly and off the shoulder tops off the shoulder dresses that's totally my vibe So we went with black and white in this area. Oh my, I forgot about this dress. So I don't know. I have two dresses that are contenders for my birthday. This one and this one. This one's by Mara Hoffman, I believe. Yeah. Y'all, this looks stunning on me. So I don't know. We might wear this one or this one. I don't know. It might be this one though, because this one is fire. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I don't think I'm going to try those on for you all, though, because I want you to be wild for my birthday. But I will try the black dress on. I have to remember to do that. And then over here, I have bag displays. Also, shoes that I love for the summertime. Nothing's in this box, but I just put a designer box there just for aesthetics. In these drawers, I have my shapewear, larger belts that wouldn't fit over in the belt storage area over here. More shapewear, because you can't have enough. And then just little bra inserts, shoe gummies, so that you feel more comfortable when you're walking in really high heels. Boob tape, these little bracelets that are used to pull up your sleeves, a number of different things. I don't think I have anything. Oh, I have bras down there. And then in this area, I have my skirts displayed, more of the neutral skirts. We have some skirts down there as well, but the neutral skirts are here. More fedoras at the top. Something that I'd also recommend for a closet like this is this ladder. Amazon has these in chrome. They also have them in black. And then this vintage gold. I decided to go with vintage gold and it makes it so convenient when you need to get things that are up higher like my fedoras. So I can easily get these down using this ladder. 
This is my favorite fedora for summer. I believe this is by Living Fearlessly on YouTube. She's also on Instagram. I love her fedoras. I have a blue one as well from her and a burgundy one. I have quite a few from her. So yeah, I have my fedoras up here. I think I got this one from Target. So whenever I need to get boxes or anything up here, which I need to add additional items in these spaces, I can just get on the ladder. Just so convenient. Now let's try on some of these clothes. I have to show you all some of the things that I have been loving so much and that are new in. So let's do that now. So first up, I'm gonna try on this dress from Ajay. Y'all, this one is so beautiful. It's gonna be so great for New Year's. I believe I got it last year during New Year's. I thought I was gonna wear it during that time, but I don't know what we ended up doing or if this dress came too late. I think it arrived too late, so I wasn't able to wear it. And last year I was a bit larger, so I got it in an extra large. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me, so I might have to get it tailored. I don't know. Or maybe wait till I get pregnant and wear it then. Hmm, decisions, decisions. <laughs> but I'm gonna try this on for you all. It is too good. In the back, look at the back, y'all. It's everything. It has this low cut design and this nice gold open design zipper. I'm not sure if this dress is still available, but when it was available, it came in white. It came in this really beautiful orange color and then also the black. I believe those were the only three colors. I decided to get it in black because I was trying to get it for New Year's, but yeah, let's try this on. Hold on, y'all. I think this might fit. I thought it was gonna be too big, but I guess I'm still an extra large. I believe it's Australian sizing, so that may be why it's an extra large, but in US, it's probably a large. I believe so. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to put it on the screen, but I usually am a size 14 in AJ clothes, and you know what? A 14 might be equivalent to an extra large, and in a size 14, that equates to a size 10, which is typically my size, but y'all, this still works. I'm a little bloated right now, so don't judge me, but this is what the back looks like. I also have on a tank top that I had on when I started the video, so I just left that on, but this dress, is fabulous. What did King and Moore say? Gone with the wind, fabulous. Don't y'all love it? And then with this dress, I'd probably wear these shoes from Zara. They have these nice gold chain design. I believe these are new in. They are probably still available on Zara, so if so, I'll link them down below. Let me show you all what they look like. Y'all, getting dressed in this closet has been so fun and efficient because everything's so organized. I love coming up here. I feel like I can just play dress up all the time. Okay, so I'm not gonna put the shoe on completely, but this is what they look like with the dress for the most part. How beautiful are these? So perfect. And then if I needed to find some jewelry, I can quickly go in this area, go over here to grab a bag. I just love getting dressed in here. <laughs> but this is the dress. Can't you see me at somebody's New Year's party? Dancing around, twirling, having fun. And I feel like it really looks good with the low bun as well, right? I am loving this look. Hmm. I still can't believe it fits me. Maybe last year it was too tight and not too big. And I just got them confused. And I would actually style this one with this bag from Charles Keith. I love this one. I wasn't sure if the gold on the shoes might be a little too much, but I feel like it complements it really well. What do y'all think? So let me show you all another dress. If you thought the last dress was gorgeous, this one knocked it out of the park. This one looks so amazing, right? When I saw it on And Other Stories, I had to have it. This dress with the oversized puffy sleeves, with the V-neck, with this red floral design is so me. I love it. 
and y'all it snatches the waist i love how fitted this area is it has a bow tie that you can tie in the back or in the front i'm gonna actually tie it in the back if i can actually do it without my husband's help <laughs> so let me try to do that now he always has to help me with something like this Okay, I did it and I didn't even realize I didn't zip it up in the back. So let me try to do that as well. Gracious. Why can't my husband be home right now? Darn it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I got it. So this is the dress, y'all. I would pair this with these pearl earrings. They're from Dolce & Gabbana and they are clip-ons, how convenient. This is what they look like. Are they beautiful? And you can wear any pearl earrings. These are just the only ones that I have. And then for heels, I would wear these gold heels that I recently got from Steve Madden. They are just too good. Look at these, y'all. These are perfect for the summer. I'm just going to step into them and not buckle them, but they are so beautiful. I actually went a half size up and they fit me perfectly. They were a good price as well. These are so perfect for spring and for the summertime. I'm going to be wearing these a lot and y'all, they are so comfortable. Isn't this look so me? I love it. Now, who's invited me to their wedding? Who? Isn't this the perfect wedding guest outfit? I love it. Now I just need some advice. Who's getting married? We're speaking it into existence. Somebody's getting married this year. Somebody's are getting married this year. I'm claiming it with y'all and I'm gonna be there. I just need my invite so I can show up twirling, twirling in this beautiful dress. <laughs> Does it have pockets? Now it would have been that would have taken it over the top if it had pockets. I love for dresses like this to just be able to put my hands in my pocket, pose for pictures. But y'all, everything about this dress is me. It's like they made it and they didn't know me yet, but they knew me, if you know what I mean. It's everything. I just feel like a little princess in this dress. It is stunning. Now for a bag, let's see. I could wear, I'd wear this raffia bag that I got from Mango. Would that work? Oh yeah, that would work just fine. I think this could work really well. Like, doesn't that look amazing with it? I could wear this one or I could wear, this one could work or this white coach bag would look really nice. Let me know which one you all like better. This one, the little clutch, or this one. It's probably this one though. I feel like this one is in line with the style of the dress. It's more elegant, but this one could work too. Great for the summer, especially for a beach wedding, if I got an invite, because you get married this year. <laughs> but yeah, I love this dress. I had to try it on for you all. But yeah, y'all, this dress is just too good. I think I'm done trying on everything and telling you all everything about the closet. I hope that you all enjoyed this video along with the mini try on haul. Let me know if you all want to see more try on hauls on my channel. I want to start creating those now that my closet is finished. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you all think of this video. What you think about my boutique closet. Let me know what you all want to see next. I'll try to link everything that I talked about in this video down below in the description box. All the organizational things from Amazon and the outfits that I mentioned. As many as I can remember because I'm not going to link everything in my closet. But I'll try to link a few items. But be sure to follow me on LTK. Anything related to my home, beauty, makeup outfits and things like that are all going to be linked there so that's a one-stop shop that you all can explore to search anything that i've worn or talked about on my channel but i love you guys and i hope that you all enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one bye y'all